Hey, hope everyone's having a fantastic day. So today I'm on day 80 of personal growth. And I'll tell you what, I've had a lot of time throughout this journey to really reflect on myself, to reflect on my actions, to reflect on every single portion of my life that I did not like and to start to make improvements on that. You know, it all started off with me making a decision and that decision to become better is what truly fueled me to become the best version of myself. So, you know, when you do a journey such as this, when you do a journey with anything in life or you have a goal in mind, the only thing you have to do is continue to keep going. And for myself, I'm continuing to keep going. Doesn't matter what happens day to day, it matters how I react to these situations. And even further beyond that, it matters on how much thought I'm putting into my every single day life. So just wanna go over a couple of different things with you guys, go over with what I'm doing, what's helping me with some challenges I've overcame. And yeah, I hope you so enjoy the video. I've been doing video. a couple of different things to make myself uncomfortable on this personal growth journey because when you think about personal growth and you think about growth in general, there's growing pains. And the reason there's growing pains is because you're experiencing uncomfortability. So for myself, I wanted to put myself in a position of uncomfortability. So I had to figure out some different tasks to put in my day in order to be uncomfortable. And I started some of them from the beginning of the journey and I've picked up some things along the way. And the first thing that I went right back to doing was writing. I notice with myself, whenever I write, I get an opportunity to really think through every single portion of my day to really kind of plan out where I'm going to next, to plan out life decisions that I'm making, to get through stressful events, stressful situations. And I can definitely say it's been an extremely good tool to add into my tool book. It's been awesome for me because I feel a sense of relief whenever I do actually have an opportunity to write. And I also get to keep myself on track with positive thinking as well by writing down some positive things to myself, just being myself, just being comfortable with every single word that's coming out of my brain, every single topic that's on my mind and really releasing that. And most of the time, you know, as men, as people, we don't necessarily feel 100 percent comfortable to share every single bit of information with other people. So. For me personally, this has been an extremely good tool to be very introceptive and to really look So another task that I've added is reading. So reading is something I've continued to do since the beginning. Reading is a way for me to gain new knowledge. And that new knowledge that I'm gaining is giving me confidence within myself because prior to starting this, I felt as though I couldn't learn or I felt as though I wasn't as smart in certain situations, right? I always felt as though I was kind of behind in school, but I never actually applied myself to those situations. And I'm learning that now as I'm really getting into this personal growth journey. And reading is one of those tools that's really been able to activate my mindset to really activate the application of new items or things that I've learned and applying them to my life. So whenever I have the opportunity to get new knowledge, and I'm applying it to my life and I'm remembering it and I, I'm doing different things such as writing down notes. You know, it seems tedious to write down notes while you're reading, but for me, it really accentuates the power and the knowledge that I can actually grab from each book. And when I say power, I've gotten that from a book called Limitless and the application of your knowledge is where you find power. That's where you find your ability to do new tasks, to take on new roles, because you're able to be knowledgeable. And when you're knowledgeable, that means you are in a position to where you've learned something so well that you have the ability to teach it. And so for me personally, reading is something I don't want to do, but I ensure each day I do at least 15 minutes of reading. And right now, currently, I've got a workbook that I'm working on. And then I've got a book that I'm reading. So I've been trying to do two books at once. Sometimes it may be one, sometimes it may be two, but the ability to read and not just reading like science fiction books or, or stuff of that nature. I'm reading things that, such as self-help books or books that are going to teach me something new about what topic I'm interested in. So for me, I'm really using it as a tool to not only 
focus better, but to actually learn and to have new ideas on stuff I should apply to my life in order to become So better. the third item that I've actually added to my life is meditation. And I've done this journey prior in 2020 and I fell off and I didn't continue, but I liked the results of it. And I was doing yoga at the time and I really enjoyed doing yoga. It coincided really well with my schedule of lifting weights or doing cardio or whatever the case may be. It was nice to do and it was very tension relieving. But this time around, now that I'm back on this journey, now that I'm really making an attempt to change my life and holding on to it, taking all the tools I've learned, I wanted to try meditation. Yoga is essentially a form of meditation as well. It can put you in a meditative state. You're really just focusing on your breathing and really being in that moment versus all of the thoughts going on in your head. But for me, sitting still and really focusing, really clearing my head has been an amazing tool to get all of the flurry of thoughts, the anxiety, the depression, any bad negative thoughts that are affecting me and be able to organize them, be able to make sense of them, be able to accept that thoughts are just thoughts. They're just there. They're only as powerful as the amount of attention that we give to them. And for me, this has been a freeing tool. This has been super amazing. It's been congruent for my growth. It's been congruent for having a better day throughout your average every day because I have a second to really sit down and focus on nothing, to really organize my thoughts, to really figure out what my next move is gonna be. It's been an amazing tool. It's kept me from going to old habits of getting angry, or getting stressed out in, in a traffic jam, for example. I'm able to realize the thoughts going on in my head because I'm doing this twice a day. I do it early in the day while I'm in the shower. And then at nighttime, I'll do it right before bed and it helps me go to sleep. So it's been a fantastic and phenomenal tool and I recommend it for anybody that wants to try So it. the fourth task that I've added to my day would have to be taking cold showers. I've continued to do that since the beginning. I really enjoy the effects that it has on my body. I enjoy the energy levels that it gives to me. I enjoy getting into the cold water because it's so uncomfortable. But once you get done, it's freeing of sorts because when you're in that cold water, it's an awesome tool for not thinking. I don't know if any of you have ever taken a cold shower. I'm sure, I'm sure a majority of people have. It is so uncomfortable. And I sit in there for seven minutes, sitting there for seven minutes every single day. I make sure that I'm uncomfortable and I do it earlier in the day so I can get the benefits of that energy from it. And I definitely recommend it to anybody and it really wakes you up and it puts you in a position of uncomfortability, but you're willingly doing it at the same time. So essentially for me, it's an extremely great tool to teach my mind, hey, not everything we gonna, we're gonna do is gonna be comfortable. And we're going to willingly put ourselves into these positions and we're going to give ourselves props for putting ourselves in that position and tell ourselves, hey, sometimes you have to do uncomfortable things. And this has been a phenomenal tool. So the fifth task process. that I have added to my day is simply studying business. I chose something I wanted to focus on, something I really wanted to learn. And I chose business. And for me, I've always been kind of interested in getting into some sort of business of sorts and super thankful for my peer group as well. They, they influenced me to start getting into that and really kind of looking at life from a bigger picture. But this puts into perspective of me feeling like I'm not as smart as other people or I'm dumb, whatever predetermined limitation I put on myself. And for me, learning business is super important because A, it's gonna open up new doors for me and B, it's uncomfortable. It's a whole another area of life that I never had the confidence to jump into and didn't really think I'd be able to latch on to as much as I am. And I am super thankful that I chose to go this route because now I'm working on an LLC at this point. I'm still in the process of getting everything set up, but the fact of the matter is once I made that decision to change my life back in January, 
it's really put me on a trajectory to do multiple things in my life. It, it makes you want to do better all around. It could be down to the smallest thing. It could be up to the highest thing, but you really start to take note of every portion of your life. And studying business has been super awesome for my growth. And it's putting me in a position to where I want more for my life. And I'm starting to realize that if I apply myself, I will have the ability to learn. And you can really go out and learn whatever you want. I chose business and I'm sure I'll move on to other things later, but it's awesome to go out and learn. And if you're having problems with learning, just remember you have to apply yourself. The last you item that I've added to my personal growth journey is showing gratitude every single morning, as well as doing positive affirmations. It's hit or miss for some people, but for myself, I think it's important to tell myself what I'm thankful for, talk to God for a minute, show appreciation for what I do have versus looking at everything I don't have. Because I feel like before you're going to get presented with any kind of blessing, you have to be super thankful and super grateful for what you already do have. We can't spend time worrying about what we don't have or what we did have. We need to focus on the good parts of our life that we actually do get to enjoy every single day. And that's down to having a car, down to having shoes, somewhere to sleep at night. This appreciation that I've been able to look into within myself has really taught me to enjoy every single day. There's something beautiful about today. There's something beautiful about every day. And to think that we have so many different items people, whatever it is in our life, we have been blessed with certain items or people or whatever it is for you in your life. And imagine a life without those blessings. Imagine a life without a car, without shoes, without being able to breathe properly, without having all of your limbs working, without being healthy. There's something to be grateful for. And positive affirmations tie into that as well. For me, especially if you've ever set limitations on yourself or you've been a negative individual, all of those limitations that you put within yourself, you need to retrain your mind in order to overcome those limitations. And for me, doing positive affirmations every single morning has helped me to start to overcome those limitations within myself. I'm changing it from I can't to I can. And when I'm doing my gratitude and when I'm doing my positive affirmations, I'm always ensuring that I'm being thankful or telling myself I am with a description behind it. The biggest part about it is giving yourself a reason why, your purpose as to why you are grateful for it or your purpose as to why you are who you say you are. And once you have a why fueling yourself, you'll notice that your gratitude and your positive affirmations will go further than just saying them because now there's a definition and meaning within your mind. Now, some of the challenges that I've ran into could be time management uh, because whenever you are doing any tasks throughout your day, you have to ensure that you're blocking out time to complete these items. And if you don't have your schedule managed properly, you'll notice it starts to run into your personal time or if you have a family, if you have children, if you have events that you have to attend to. So you have to ensure that you're building out time for these items and tasks in order to complete them. And for myself, I noticed at times it would start to mesh into my day and then it would be problems here. And then you get to a point to where you're like, oh man, I don't even wanna do this right now. I don't wanna do this right now. But in those moments, you have to still continue doing them because you can see the results as to why you continue to do them. And you can also see what happens if you don't do them. You slowly start to fall in those habits again. So that's been a huge challenge is time management. Now, to combat the time management issue for myself, I wake up early and whenever I get up early, it gives me time to get a huge chunk of them done. And then there's other parts that I'll do later on at night. So for example, like reading or writing, I may do that towards the nighttime period. Uh, that way I can kind of calm down after a long day and then I'll finish off with my meditation, whatever the fact of the matter is, you have to ensure that you have good time management because for me, a challenge was time management because you never know what's going to happen throughout the day. And as soon as people start waking up 
at 7, 8 a.m. Everyone's hitting you up. Everyone's messaging you. Uh, your wife needs you over here for this. Your mom needs you to do this. You don't have time for it throughout the day. So if you don't make time for it, then you won't want to end up doing it or you'll fall off more easily. Another challenge that comes along with this personal growth journey, at least for me, is overcoming the fact that you won't be able to spend as much time with your peers. You have to do a lot of alone time because when I'm on this personal growth journey, it's for myself so I can bring a better self to the people that I love, to the people I care about. So you have to sacrifice some time for yourself at times and understand like, hey, I told myself I'm done going to the club. Hey, I'm done drinking. Hey, I'm done doing this, this and that. And you're gonna have to turn down offers to do such things because you know those environments aren't the best for you. So for me personally, a challenge was getting used to telling people no or, or not contacting as many people and kind of relaxing on that portion because I need to build myself up into the person I need to be every single day before I face the world. So you need to spend time alone. And being from a military background like myself, I'm used to having a huge group of friends and, and you know, being around a bunch of people and you do everything with your buddies and that's great and all, but the older I'm getting, the more decisions I'm making, I need to be by myself so I have clear thinking, so I have the ability to understand what step I'm going to next. And that challenge itself is different for everybody. Some people love being alone, but for me, I love to be around a group of friends. And I've really come to understand though, that being alone is super important right now. So that challenge is gonna happen to you every single day. It's happened to me multiple times. You know, people, hey, let's go drink. Hey, let's do this. No, nah, man, I don't drink. I'm gonna turn it down. No, nah, I don't drink, but I'm holding true to my guns. And it's a challenge that you can- My final challenge for me that I've ran into throughout this personal growth journey so far would definitely be having proper preparation. You can't just go day to day and do the same exact schedule for stuff you used to do. You have to apply new changes to your life. You have to become more prepared because without proper preparation can lead you to failure. You fail too many times in a row, it may be easier to make wrong decisions, right? So for me, I have to be on top of my stuff and it's not the easiest when you first get into the journey because you may have made the decision to do it, but you have to continue to do it every single day. So without preparing properly, you can plan to fail. And with that being said, I hope you all enjoyed the video. I really appreciate you watching. If you're thinking about going on a personal growth journey or you are currently going on a per personal growth journey, leave some questions for me down in the comment section. If you're going through any challenges, let me know what challenges you're going through. We're all going through something in life. If you're making a decision to better your life, you're not alone. There's so many different people out there and so many different resources that you can reach out to. But I'd love to have conversation with you. So leave me some comments in the comment section. I hope you all have a fantastic day. And remember, you can create that for yourself. And I appreciate you for watching. I love you. Hope you have a great day. God, your father,